what's up you guys welcome to another video thanks for tuning in so today we're gonna you know of course talk about motorcycles so I bought another motorcycle which you guys will see at the end of the video you'll see me working on it I'll, I'll plug it in after this little short motor vlog it's a 1984 CB 700 SC Nighthawk which I'm just like unbelievably stoked to have picked up yes I know I have a problem stop it get some help I, I just can't stop buying motorcycles when I see a deal it's just so hard to pass up but these bikes are so freaking sweet they're like the early like super sport bikes kind of it's shaft driven which is also I'm pretty excited about um, but yeah it's gonna be a sweet little bike it's also got dual disc front brakes and uh, it's got a hydraulic clutch so it's like the fancy like super sport bike that they were they were doing in the uh, mid 80s I think they made it from 1984 to 1986 but you guys will see it it's pretty sweet and um, my plans for it are I'm not gonna like chop it up or anything I'm gonna just kind of make it my, it definitely needs some TLC so I'm gonna make it my own I'm gonna completely restore it do custom paint you know do all, all the uh, it doesn't need really that much mechanical work but do some TLC stuff and replace all the gaskets and seals and it also has um, auto, like hydraulic t t like uh, valve adjustment so you don't ever have to adjust the valves apparently which is pretty crazy so it's like a bike that just doesn't need much maintenance it's like shaft driven and and uh, or, uh today junior and self-adjusting valves like that's awesome so it's a bike that i'm planning to like restore and not really cheap out on and just like kind of keep forever um and the reason i'm bringing this up right now and the reason i'm riding the cx 500 i know at the end of my last time last video on the cm 450 build i told you guys i was going to be keeping this and building this into a cafe racer uh, but someone already reached out wanting to buy the bike just kind of as is and so they're gonna be picking this thing up and they offered me a really good deal to be honest with like all the rust and like all the aesthetic TLC this bike needs I'm like pretty excited to uh, jump on that 700 I also am like excited to have a bigger bike like you, you know this is like a pretty torquey 500 and, you know and it's like mildly comfortable at freeway speeds but I'm, I'm excited to have a four-cylinder you know bike that can really scream so i'm just like personally looking more forward to that bike and so that's also why i'm like willing to let go of this bike some of you guys might not like that maybe i'll regret it in the future but there's also like tons of cx 500s out there so i can always pick up another one which i think i will end up doing because i really like some cx 500 builds out there i would love to have one under my belt as well future build videos are going to be like full restoration on the 1984 cb 700 sc and then also I'm still going to keep that CN450 and turn that into like a true cafe racer um, that I'm like happy with it and um, feel proud of. So that's kind of the plans right there that I wanted to give you guys a quick update on. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, John from Road Reality. So he's a, I just really love his vibe. He, he like smokes cigars and drinks coffee while I was riding his Harley. I'm probably going to get this wrong because I'm not a huge Harley person. Although I do like them. I think he rides a street glide. I, I'm probably wrong. So I'm sorry if I am. Uh, but he's just like a rad dude. I really like him. Um, so you should go check him out. I'm going to actually. He sent me a little clip of uh, something to show you guys. Um, so yeah. Check it out. Here it comes. Hey. What's up everybody. I'm John from Road Reality. You're watching Moto Mango. But I wanted to take a minute to tell you about myself. I am a moto vlogger out here in Maryland. And it is cold and snowy and windy, and I do stupid stuff like this all the time on my Harley, and sometimes Kawasaki's. So I do moto vlogs, editing tips, some gear reviews, as well as uh, vlogging gear. So if you like that sort of thing, come check me out. I'm sure Mango will leave a link in his video description to me. Until then, enjoy his ride. Bye. Oh well, yeah, that's John. He's an awesome dude. I, I hope you liked his little clip, and you should go check him out. Pretty sure this is just a pull off, but I'm always nervous about breaking these. God dang, dude. Did we get that one to go? Okay. Okay, we did it, and we didn't break anything. Okay. Oh my goodness. Did that go, or did I just strip it? Oh no, that went. Okay. Yay. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We're gonna 
pump the clutch. The fluid actually looks pretty good. That's really surprising. There's a lot of air in it though. So yeah, I bought this bike. <laughs> and the only thing wrong with it was the clutch wouldn't engage. So we're gonna drain the fluid and see what the heck's going on with this thing. Definitely worn, but I think usable. Oh, maybe not. It looks really warped. There's there's a good bit of dirt in here, so I'm just gonna try to clean as much of that out as I can. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be doing aftermarket levers and reservoirs anyways, but I just want to try to get this. I want to be able to make this thing rideable. I want to ride it before I start messing around with it. All right. Putting DOT3 uh, brake fluid in. I'm gonna just start flushing this through the system without getting it everywhere. Okay, that seems to be working. This lo the little like master cylinder gasket thing. I ran this under hot water and soap, and it actually kind of like gained its form back. So I'm gonna see if I can't get the clutch to work today. Bruh. Okay, so I've got that tightened. Now. I'm gonna put fluid in the master cylinder. Okay, I've done that. Now I'm gonna pump the system. Again, without trying to get fluid everywhere. So it's bleeder valves closed, pump the system. So basically that just means keep squeezing the clutch lever. Do that a bunch. Now I'm gonna hold the clutch lever in and I'm gonna loosen the bleeder valve to try to get any air out. Now I'm gonna, with the clutch still in, the clutch lever I mean, okay, bleeder valve is tightened, now I can let go of the clutch again and start pumping. And you just do this, back and forth, till you get all the air out of the system. Yeah, the gasket's just so warped, I don't think I'll be able to get a good seal. Alright, putting it back together with the bad gasket, I have zero confidence that this will work. But it doesn't hurt to try. I always try to fix it without spending any money. And then, then you start buying parts when you need them. So as you can see, the bike needs some work. I just wanted to drain the fluid and see if I could get it to work without buying any parts, but clearly I need to do some work on the clutch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is replace everything on the master slave cylinder, because that's usually the, the problem child with these systems. So I'm gonna replace that, because it's like 20 bucks to get a full rebuild kit. So we're gonna start there. If that doesn't work, then we'll go to the clutch basket and replace all the plates in that. Um, but we're gonna you know, always start small and with the cheapest fix and then go, go from there. I want to just thank the whole like YouTube moto community. You guys are all the best and I've just been loving all the support. We've got a couple stickers from y'all. So this is from VRX Moto. She drew me that and it's the cutest freaking thing ever. Mangosaurus Rex. Uh, low key might get that tattooed somewhere on me. And then Purple on 3 and Tommy G and Eric from Kraken's Garage. I'm also repping his wristband. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for the support. I love watching your channels and I appreciate that you watch mine. So that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. And if I can build a bike, then so can you. Cheers.